it's Nicole. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are new. Today's video is for the newest release from Bees Knees Lacquer. This is their part two of A Court of Silver Flames. I reviewed part one last month. As always, I'll have that linked down below as well as in the cards if you missed it. Um, I also have their polish for the Olive Polish Lovers Facebook Facebook group. Um, uh, I will have links to that down below. So, um, both of these releases launch this Friday, the 28th, on BeesKneesLacquer.com. I will have that link down below. This will also be available at their international stockists like Rainbow Connection, and I think I'm forgetting one. Oh, I'll, I'll have stockists linked down below. I can't remember where all the stockists they have. If you are international, they also ship internationally. If you haven't heard of Bees Knees Lacquer before, they are a US-based indie brand. Uh, their polishes are handmade, 5 plus free, uh, vegan and cruelty free, and their bottles are 15 ml and they have a wonderful paddle brush. Uh, I will have all of the important details and links down below. I'll also have a link to my blog post if you'd like to see more swatch photos. Let's just get into this. First up is His Voice Was Her Melody. This one is described as a bright pink with a soft coral to orange shimmer and it's priced at $12. Uh, this had a great formula, not too thick or too thin. The base color is a very bright pink. Um, I think that this is bright enough that you could definitely call it a neon. It does glow under black light. Um, the shimmer is very strong in this polish. I was seeing both of the described colors in person. The coral, um, the coral, the coral shift of the shimmer it definitely leans very um, pink in this base, so it looks like the shimmer is like a pink to orange, and the orange is very, very, like, it's super, super obvious when it's orange. Like, this one just glows. It's it's absolutely stunning. Um, so this one was opaque for me in three coats. Uh, I had a tiny, tiny bit of visible nail line with this polish, but I think it's, n you have to, like, search for it. So I, unless you really, really hate seeing your visible nail line, I don't think this one needs a blurring base coat. I thought it was absolutely phenomenal. So, and I forgot to mention, I did not experience any staining with this polish. Next up is the Blood Rite. This is the Unicorn Key polish in the collection. It's described as a rich magenta with OG UP, aka Unicorn P, that shifts red to gold to green. It's priced at $15. And I do want to make note that bottles sold to customers will have more Unicorn Pea pigment in it than uh, what my swatches show here. So in case anyone was wondering about the price for this one, Unicorn Pea is not made anymore. So it's super hard for makers to get a hold of the pigment. It is rather expensive. So polishes made with Unicorn Pea tend to be a little bit pricier than your standard shimmer polishes. Anyway, this had a great formula, not too thick or too thin. It was very opaque. It was surprisingly opaque. I think um, most people will be good in two coats. I'm showing it in three coats. I had just a teeny tiny bit of transparency towards my tips uh, that I wanted to cover up. So I think if you have long nails, you'll probably want to go in for three coats. Shorter nails, you'll be good in two. And I also showed this in two coats over the Loser slash Lover Undies polish. Um, if anyone was wondering, the difference between this polish and the Lover Loser polish is this one is a, I'd say it's a brighter, more berry pink, and Loser Lover is more um, of a peachy pink. Next up, we have Light Singer. This one is described as a rich tangerine with a soft orange to green shimmer. It's priced at $12. Light Singer had a great formula, not too thick or too thin, and it applied very nicely. Um, so this one is like a really nice tangerine orange, and the shimmer in it, I found um, the orange shift looked very gold in this base, and the green shift, I had a really hard time getting that photographed. The shimmer is very golden, and the green, the green side is more of like a... I don't know if it, it, it's it's like a golden green. I don't know how to describe that color. It's definitely green, but it's got gold in it as well. It just plays really interestingly in the base color. So I think this one is going to be a solid three coater. 
Um, I had just a tiny bit of patchiness in uh, two coats, so I did go in for three. So I did have some visible nail line with this polish. Not too bad, but just enough to be noticeable, but I did not experience any staining. Next up is Nothing Can Break Us. This one is described as a bright spring green with a glowy pink shimmer. It's priced at $12. This had a fantastic formula. It applied so smoothly and nicely. This is the most sheer out of all of the polishes in the release. And spoiler, <laughs> this is one of my favorites. I thought this was so beautiful. In the bottle, I was kind of like meh. Once I got this on my nail, it was just so color shifty. I was seeing like a pink and um, like a yellowy gold type shimmer in this one. It just played so nicely with this base and I really liked how sheer it was. So for the shots that you guys just saw with my thumbnail, on my thumb I did this in three coats over a blurring base coat that I picked up from uh, Polish Pickup. I will have that link down below in case anyone is interested interested personally I like this without the blurring base coat I found the opaque base made this a little bit less color shifty but if you don't like visible nail line these blurring base coats are really really handy next up is our stories are worth telling this one is described as a grass green with a soft green to blue shimmer it's priced at $12 this polish had a fantastic formula, just like everything else in this release. Um, not too thick or too thin. It is a little bit sheer here on the first coat, but it builds up really nicely. I found in three coats, it was still just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit um, sheer. I did have some visible nail line with it, but the shimmer is so strong that for the most part, it distracts from your visible nail line, so it's not super duper obvious. So in person, I was seeing both of the color shifts. I have really been enjoying um, this green to blue shimmer that Bees Knees has been using lately. I just love how this pairs with their bases. Bees Knees does a phenomenal job with shimmer polishes, and this release is no exception. So I think this is going to be a three-coater on pretty much everyone. That third coat does deepen the color to what you see in the bottle, and it adds to that shimmer effect. Um, so I did not have any issues with staining. Removal is going to be super easy because this is a shimmer polish. Next up is She Would Happen To Him. This one is described as a light aqua with a glowy green to blue shimmer. It's priced at $12. This had a great formula, not too thick or too thin, and it applied very nicely. This is one of the more sheer polishes in the release. Um... You will have visible nail line even after three coats. I will have a swatch photo of this one with under, um, sorry, over a blurring base coat at the end of the live swatch portion. I do want to note that uh, you definitely do not need to go out and purchase a blurring base coat just to wear these kind of polishes. Um, it's one of those personal preference things. If you really don't like seeing your visible nail line, then I would recommend that would recommend one if you don't really care. I, I don't think you need one. <laughs> Personally, I really like this polish without the blurring base. I thought it looked really fun and fantastic without it. Um, yeah. So here the polish is moving around and you can see all of that fun shifty shimmer color shift. I just love the the colors of this color shift. I think it pairs really nicely with the base. And I forgot to mention this, uh, you do not see brush strokes with this polish. It is a not a smooth shimmer, but a little dispersed. But you don't see brush strokes at all. But you do have some pretty obvious visible nail line. Nothing in here is going to be difficult to remove, and I did not have any staining. Next up, we have Power Lay in Her Hand. This one is described as a mid-toned blue with a soft aqua to purple shimmer. It's priced at $12. This had a fantastic formula, not too thick or too thin, and it applied very nicely. This one is more opaque than the last polish, so I don't think a blurring base coat would be necessary for this one. The shimmer is not brush strokey. It's a little bit when it's wet, but they disperse for the most part once it is dry. 
So this does apply a little patchy on the first coat. Once you get on your second and third coats, it does even out any uh, light spots that you have. I think this is going to be a three coater on pretty much everyone. I didn't love coverage in two coats enough to say it would be a two coater. Maybe if you go in for thick coats, but I went in for uh, normal thickness in coats. But this is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous polish. I loved how this one looked in natural lighting. Personally, I really like the shade of blue. Uh, nothing in here caused any staining and removal will be easy. Next up is I Give It Back. This one is described as a soft purple base with a glowy gold to green to blue shimmer. This is the purple sister to the Bees Knees Polish Pickup Polish Awakened. And it's priced at $13. This had a great formula, not too thick or too thin. This is another one of the more sheer polishes in the release. Um, I thought the sheerness really made that shimmer really just go bam in your face. I really enjoyed it. Um, I will note that this one reminded me a lot of the Bees Knees Polish Rainbow Girl. Um, they're not dupes. I'll have a comparison at the end of the live swatch portion if anyone is curious. So as I mentioned, this one is a little bit on the sheer side, so I will have a photo of this one in three coats over a blurring base coat. I think pretty much everyone is going to need three coats for this polish. The shimmer is not brush strokey at all. I forgot to mention that earlier. And nothing in here is going to be difficult to remove or cause staining. And here is the comparison. I will have a swatch comparison side by side up on my blog post. Next up, we, has, we have Death Gripped Her by The Other. This one is described as a rich plum with a soft pink to green shimmer, and it's priced at $12. This had a great formula, not too thick or too thin, and it applied very nicely. The rich plum base is like a warm, purpley pink, uh, not quite lilac, but a purpley pink, which I think the pink is... Um, mainly from the shimmer because the shimmer is very strong in this base. In person, I was seeing a pink to gold to green color shift. Just like the other shimmers in this release, I didn't have to do anything like super crazy to see the different colors on my nail. I will note that the shimmer was just slightly brush strokey when it was wet. They, I'd say like 99% even out once the polish dries. Um, I think this one is going to be a solid three-coater on pretty much everyone. I had a very slight amount of visible nail line um, in person. No issues with staining and removal will be very easy. And the final polish I have to share is the Olive Polish Facebook Group Custom. This one is called Trove of Nightmares. It's described as a bright summer olive polish with a contrasting orange to green shimmer. Uh, because of the shimmer, um, the polish can pull more yellow in bright lighting and more green in lower lighting. It's priced at $12. To purchase this one from the Bees Knees website, you will have to join the Olive Polish Lovers Facebook group. On the international stockist pages, as far as I know, you don't need to be a member, but I am not 100% sure. This had a great formula, not too thick or too thin, and applied very nicely. It is a little bit on the sheer side, so you will have visible nail line in three coats. Um, I would recommend doing three coats. It does add some more opacity, and it deepens the color. Um, so as the description said, this one is going to pull very yellow when you're in bright lighting, and when you're in lower lighting, you're going to see that um, darker green. It's somewhere, to me personally, it's somewhere between like a mustard and an olive polish. On my thumbnail there, I showed this one um, in three coats over a blurring base coat. Um, I will have a swatch photo showing that one in over the blurring base coat as well. And here comes Stormy. Hi, Stormy. So personally, I like this one in three coats on its own. Um, but girl. I will note that it does benefit really nicely from the blurring base coat. I used the one from Polish for Days. I will have that link down below in case anyone is interested. Okay, final thoughts. I love this release. I thought this was really, really fantastic. All of the colors, just the color story was really, really beautiful. I really enjoyed it. So for my favorites, number one would be Nothing Can Break Us. I thought this was absolutely fantastic. You can see here in the bottle, let's bring it close. 
that it is a bright springy green but the shimmer in this one is so strong that you I was gonna say you barely see the base you definitely see the base but you mostly see the shimmer and it's absolutely fantastic I give it back is my second favorite I just thought this was really really fantastic I really like the base color paired with the shimmer it did remind me a lot of Rainbow Girl on the nail, but once I got them side by side, I could see that they weren't really all that close. And then my final favorite is His Voice Was Her Favorite Melody. First off, I thought the name of this polish was really beautiful. And just, it's a pink, it's got shimmer. I Pinks are my favorite. I love the high shimmer in this. I thought it was really fantastic. And that's everything. Uh, so yes, um, those are my favorites. What are you picking up? What are, you, are you planning on picking anything up? And I forgot to mention this in the intro. Uh, so part one to this release will be restocked for this one. And you can purchase the whole collection minus the Unicorn Pea Polish uh, from this release for $90. Uh, the Unicorn Pea Polish will have a cap on it, I believe. Uh, Bees Knees has been doing caps on the Unicorn Pea Polishes, but everything else should not have a cap. Uh, Pre-orders will be open for one week. And uh, don't forget, there's also going to be more polishes uh, restocked in the respawn list. Definitely join the Facebook fan group to get a whole list of everything that will be available. And yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I will talk to you on the next one. Bye!